wheels made me go off the rails. They say that Big Mary's um, buried just in this whole general area. They don't really know the exact location. I'm sure like a lot of historians and stuff like that do, but they probably just won't reveal that information. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have another crazy story today. It's really disturbing. It's also a local, local case to me. Um, yeah, so I don't even know where to begin. Today I'm gonna be talking about Big Mary. She was an elephant that worked for a circus. Um, she was nicknamed this because of her size. She um, weighed over five tons and she was literally the tallest elephant, living elephant, um, compared to any other elephants at this time. She went from town to town, um, went all over. She went from coast to coast, um, just working in this circus. However, in 1916, all of this stopped. Big Mary killed the man that overworked her. He beat her, he uh, was in charge of like her basic needs like feeding and watering her and keeping her clean. And it, it came out that this guy had some of the worst ever recorded um, animal torture cases to exist. It's crazy because this guy literally just applied like five days before. Um, he had no experience. He didn't even know how to treat her. He didn't know how to treat any type of animal. So the worker was riding Mary. Um, I think he was trying to get her to go toward a certain area, trying to persuade her like um, to go, I think to go get some water. He was riding on top of her. He had whips. They had hooks into them. He would whip her and they would just dig into her flesh. And he was told by the circus to not even use this. So he was doing this totally out of the way. There's a lot of different like stories about how they think she actually like, pulled him down to the ground. But most people say that he like was leaning over and try to get some watermelon out of his pocket to give it to her. And that she took her trunk lifted him up and threw him down onto the ground and stomped his head with her foot. People tried to shoot her to kill her. Um, when they realized that there was no guns big enough from the show in Kingsport, um, that's when they caught up the city of Irwin, Tennessee and uh, tried to take care of the job. So that night people were chanting, kill her, kill her. Um, they wanted her, they wanted her dead. They wanted um, Big Mary, they wanted to kill her. There was just so many people that saw this killing of this guy happen and it was just a tragedy. It was so traumatic. There was people, you know, even generations later that said that they had family members that watched it, that they were just couldn't believe what happened and that it stuck with them for years. So it was crazy because when the city of Irwin arrested her, they chained her outside of, this, outside of the jail. So she was literally sitting there like a prisoner. She was chained up and it was just, they were trying to think, they were trying to buy some time to think of how to kill her. So they picked the city of Irwin because they knew that there was a railroad station there. They knew there was cranes and they got the bright idea to chain her up, hang her from the crane and, and kill her that way. They wanted a huge crowd of spectators to see this happen because this was all over. They wanted people to know they took care of the job. They want people to know that, that they were serious about killing Big Mary. There's only one photo from this day and probably because it was in 1916, but what had happened was they wrapped her, wrapped her neck with the, with the chain. They pulled her up with the crane it snapped and she fell to the ground. Because of this, she broke her hip and she was pretty much unresponsive. So they they ran back up to her, they wrapped it around her neck again and she was pretty much immobile. So didn't really put up a fight. You know, she was pretty limp, she couldn't do anything. They pulled it right back up and then it was successful. Um, they had a veterinarian um, claim her claim her deceased. Um, they hung her for about 30 minutes and that was when they determined that she was dead. No one really knows where she was buried and if people do, they're not really vocal about it. They don't really tell people where it was at, but they think that it was at the, the library, which is right across from the railroad tracks. Um, now it's the um, library, like I said, but before that it was the old railroad station. There's a museum there and they have a bunch of articles about it but it's like they try to keep it under wraps. It's like they don't want to be known as, you know, the town that killed, 
killed an elephant. I went and saw the railroad station, which is the library now, and then I saw the whole landscape, the whole area where she was hanged. Back behind me is the public library here in Irwin, Tennessee, but this used to be the old railroad station. They put her on a crane. The crane snapped the first time. She fell to the ground. They said she had a broken hip and was pretty much unresponsive. They pulled her right back up on the crane and they were successful at the hanging at that time. But in the picture, you know, she's hanging on the crane and then you can see the mountains and everything behind. So they think this is where that happened. They had over 5,000 people spectating, um, just watching the hanging, which it was, that would have traumatized a lot of people and a lot of people had family members say they were traumatized watching that. If she is buried under that concrete, they would never let people dig it up or excavate it or anything like that. The city of Irwin, um, it was like a small town feel. It was like real historic and you wouldn't think that that that, that had happened there. Um, when I first heard about this story, I was like, what in the heck like how did i not know about this how is this possible and it was just it was crazy we pulled into the library which was the railroad station we hadn't even got the camera out even the setup even out to even record and a cop pulls in and is just sitting in the back of the parking lot just window down arm out of the window just watching it was really odd and like i said it was a small community and really tight knit and it's like it's like he knew we were there for that it was really weird um I might be looking more into it than I should, but it was just, it was weird. He waved at our son and <clears throat> we got our drone shots and everything, but it was just, it was like he just knew we were there for that. And it was just, it was pretty odd. The story of Big Mary is really disturbing and it, it's a sad story. And the, I didn't even know about it. I think the whole town really just sweeps it under the rug. And they said that you can go to the local museum and they'll tell you all about it, but that the town doesn't really claim that it happened. So it's just, <laughs> It's kind of a mystery as to where she's buried. So let me know if you also like videos like this, not really murder or true crime, just crazy stories like that. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.